Welcome on in and welcome to the channel. Right in front of me, I got the ROG Ally with the Z1 Extreme chip. In today's video, we are covering The Sims 4. The Sims 4 has been out for years now. The Sims 4 is a social simulation game developed by Maxis and published by Electronic Arts. But you may want games to play in your ROG Ally. The base game of The Sims 4 is a free to download jump into building homes, styling sims and customising their personalities. Craft their life stories while exploring vibrant worlds and discovering more by unleashing your imagination and create a world of sims. Explore and customise every detail from sims to homes and much more. Chrissy is always on this game. If you are a new subscriber, welcome. Chrissy has been a huge part of the channel growth from in front of the camera and behind the scenes. Check out her socials, especially if you like Sims. I am just Chrissy under everything, but I'll plaster it on the screen somewhere and the link will be in the description. In a future video, if you are a Sims player already and you are wondering, do mods work? Chrissy will show you how it works on the ROG Ally. But in today's video, we are going to cover the performance on Sims 4 on the ROG Ally. This video is for the average consumer who just wants to pick up and play on their ROG Ally. I will be using Steam as the launcher, but secretly the launcher is <laughs> EA Games. Loading time is perfect. The game loads really quick. We'll get some volume up later. If we hit command center, we are running the ROG Ally on turbo mode with 25 watts. You could change the watts from 10 watts to 15 to 25. We also got the Sims 4 Urban Homage Kit, Styles for the City. These modern looks are inspired by a time and place near and dear to Ebonics. They are bold, unapologetic and reflect a style Ebonics wanted to share with the Simmer community. Ebonics is a huge part of the community, I love to see this. First we're going to do is hit options, game options. Once we are in game options, you will see display type, full screen, refresh rate is 120, resolution 1080, V-Sync is off, graphic quality is ultra, sims very high, edge smoothing high, objects high, 3D scene resolutions on high, lighting very high, view distance high, reflections is on high, and visual reflection is on high. So this is the settings we've got at the moment. So let's exit this and see what the game has to offer. All right, we are in. Let's go. All right, we'll turn it up. Let's get the volume up. Sounds good. Oh. Can we rotate? All right. I'm just checking out the buttons. Default controls do seem all over the place. So what we're going to do. All right, we're going to head to Steam. By doing that, we're going to click the left trigger at the back, we're going to head over to enable Steam input. So this will be the controls inputted by the community. Controller settings. So let's browse the community. Community layout. All right, let's see if we've got the Xbox. All right, here we go. The Sims 4 Xbox controller. We'll use that one. Download that. Oh, there we go. So now we've got the controls for Sims 4. So rotate screen will be the right analog stick. The A will be your click. Like it. And let's not forget, you can plug in your mouse and keyboard to the ROG Ally and plug in a monitor so you could play this game on full screen with mouse and keyboard. So controls. I'm happy with. So the top buttons, zoom in and out. You got the controls out of the way. You can actually customize your own controls, tweak a little controls when you're not happy with, or you could just use mouse and keyboard from the get-go. This was the graphical settings we started off. Right, if we hit B to head back to game options, once we're in the game options, we'll go back to the graphical quality. We'll make our way from low right down to high as we just came off ultra. So let's see how the game looks on low. Everything's set to low, apply changes. All right, we are back in. We had to reset the game so the graphical settings could be applied. Here we have it. This will be low settings. It looks really good for low settings still. 
The RG Ally is a powerful piece of hardware. When we first came on, we was on ultra settings. All right, let's get the sim to do something. Let's see what we could do. Should we cook? All right, cook. Grilled cheese. Can we afford it? Yep. Right now, I've switched to mouse and keyboard just to make it a bit easier for me. Analog stick, it works just as well. You can use the mouse. The mouse works just as well. But just for the sake of the video, I'm going to be using mouse and keyboard because the reflection here, I don't know if you can see it, the camera keeps reflecting on the ROG Ally. So it's best if I place it down, place it down and use mouse and keyboard. I don't know where she's running off to. Let's find out what she's doing. She's gone to meet someone. She's gone to chat. We are on low settings. We will use the scenery as a reference. So we're going to up the quality again. Game options. We're going to move up to low, medium. We would use the scenery and the environment as our reference. The pavement looks a bit sharper, but I feel like the grass can get a bit sharper. But we'll play around and double check. What's she up to? She's about to read a book. Uh, we also got build mode. There's a few sim builders out there who keep their builds on the sims community. I'll put some links down below. We got Sabby, we got Chrissy. So I put their links in so you could use their builds. All right, let's exit build mode. Cool, we'll go up the settings again. So what we're gonna do, head back to the main menu. So what we're gonna do next is head back to options, game options. Once you're in the game options, we're gonna move up to medium settings. Hopefully we can see a different. I forgot to put the frame counter on. That's one thing you don't keep telling me. Get that frame counter on. All right, let me quickly put it on. So we're gonna use the AMD frame counter. All right, frame counter is on. And from the jump, we have got 170, whoa, the frames are high. Frames are high, so we'll let that cool down, see what's happening. Grass looks smoother, you can see the smoothness now. Let's check the sim herself. Quality of detail is definitely rising as we progress through the graphical options and move up the graphic options to high. I could say for a pick up and play for the ROG Ally, Sims 4 works perfect. You could play around with custom settings and you shouldn't really have no worries. The details have definitely risen. It's gotten so much sharper now. I could comfortably, comfortably play this on ultra settings. Easily. Without having to worry about no lagging or stuttering. Very fast, very smooth. For the final part of the video, we are going to jump into the ultra settings. And that will be everything on ultra this time. I think before was Chrissy's custom settings. Ultra, everything is set to ultra, apply changes. We should be back to how we had it when we first started the video. Frames have dropped. We just hit in a clean 100, 116 frames. It's not looking like it's going below 100 frames. That's a good sign. There's not really a huge difference with ultra and high. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, there is. Water movement. We've got little splashes now. Nice. Okay, cool. There is some changes in Ultra. Let's check out the sim herself. Rotate it around. Yeah, the attention to detail is definitely there. She looks much sharper than before. Not as smoothed out. I notice, since we say it to Ultra, it seems like we have much more Sims around now. Jogging. We've got birds, we've got leaves dropping off trees, it looks like. Yeah, there's so much more detail going on with the Ultra settings. Right, let's see how it is to travel. So this is Sims 4 in the palm of your hands. This is Sims 4 in the palm of your hands. That felt much better saying it that way around. Remember to like and subscribe, especially if this video has helped you today. 
Keep an eye out for future videos for the ROG Ally. But I'll catch you in the next video. Have a great week. Peace, peace, peace.